Hey everybody! So this is going to be a virtual watercolor hour. We were scheduled to do this on Monday. We are painting a giraffe today. So I'm just going to go over the supplies really quickly. We are basing our painting off of a photo from Unsplash, which we will post a link to. It's this giraffe. I used one of our light boxes to trace it. So this is the outline and we'll also be posting that. And then this is what the finished product will look like. This is a bit smaller. This is the one we're going to work on today. I'm using the paint that we usually use in watercolor hour. I've also got a palette in case I need to do a little bit of mixing. This is masking fluid. So we put this on areas that we don't quite want to paint yet. So if you're doing very small details, you can use the masking fluid on it and then remove it later on. I've got an eraser here in case some of my lines are too dark, and this will also help us remove the masking fluid later on. These are embossing tools, so I use these to apply the masking fluid because they have very small tips here. And these are our brushes. We're using a round number 10, number 6, and a detailed brush. So the first thing we're going to do is paint a light wash of this kind of tan color here. So I'm going to start down here. So with watercolors you do have to move around on the page so that you don't have to wait as long for the paint to dry. The first thing I'm doing is applying some water with no paint. I do this so I have a little bit better control over the darkness of the paint when it goes on. So I'm going to be using this color here. And you can see because there's water on the paper, it kind of spreads out. We may have to come back and make this a little bit darker. Watercolors, when they're dry, are a little bit lighter than they look when they're wet. Okay. So now we're going to work on the head. And we're going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be avoiding the ears and the mouth here. This is just water. So while most of that is wet, I'm going to take some of this and apply it to the eyes.
Now I'm just putting the light tan color. Okay, now I'm going to take a smaller brush and start working on the ears. So I'm going to use this one. And you can see in this photo that the ears are colored tan along the edges. So I'm going to paint a line along the edge and then I'm going to soften it with water. So you can see that the color is darker, which means there's more paint on the brush and less water than before. Okay, so there's that. Now we rinse the brush off completely and just paint in here with water. And when you touch the edges of the paint, then you can kind of soften it. Add a little more paint. So that this looks more blended. do the same thing to the other ear. Rinse off my brush and just use water. Adding a little bit more paint. All right. So this is still a bit wet. So I don't want to go back and paint the spots yet. What I'm going to do is work on this here. I'm going to use this reddish brown, but I'm going to put it in my palette and mix it with some water first. If you're not sure whether the color is light enough, you can keep a scrap of watercolor paper next to you and check it. Be a little darker. All right. 
So I'm gonna fill this space in. I can see here that this wasn't completely dry yet, so I dry off my brush completely and then run it along here while it's dry to pick some of the paint up. Also come in with your paper towel and dry it off. I'm going to use my smallest brush now, this detail brush, to do the dark spaces in here. So you can see in the reference photo this is black, so I'm going to use a very dark gray in there. I'm going to make this one a bit darker. down here should be dry enough that I can start adding the spots and then after that we'll go back up to the face and work on the details there. Alright, for the spots I'm going to use a dark brown and I think I'm going to mix in a little bit of this color. my paint down and it doesn't look like it's spreading so this is dry enough to start working with it. I 
If you want some variation in the color, you can go back in with a darker shade and just drop it in while the paint is still wet. And the outlines of the spots are just guidelines. You can go outside the lines. All the spots are irregular, so it doesn't matter. And the reason I'm kind of going out of, out of order with the spots is this brush holds more water than I sometimes need, so I just drop the color off on a different spot instead of wasting it. Just making these darker. All right. So now we're going to start working on the face a little bit. I'm going to come up here and darken this with the same shade we were using earlier, the slight tan, and then I'm going to drop in some darker brown and black. So I start by adding the color here. Get some brown. If you ever put too much paint down, you can just dry your brush off and suck it back up with the brush. Now I'm going to take a clean brush, I've rinsed it off. soften the edges here so there's not a line where the wet paint meets this color we used before. Yeah, I'm just kind of dragging it out. Now 
Okay, so we'll come back later. I drop some water here. We'll come back later and add some black. Now we're going to work on the nose. You can see that it's darker here along the edges where there are some ridges. So what we're going to do is draw some, uh, put some paint down and then soften the edges. I'm going to mix up a color like this here and just do one side. Rinse off my brush and then bring some water here. Do the other side. Rinse my brush. This is still wet up here, so I'm going to go back with the black and drop it in. You can see it spreading, so you can tell that the paper is still wet. It's a little dark, so I'm going to pull some of this off with a dry brush. Okay, so I can see here there's a line from the darker paint, so I'm going to go back in with this lighter one. blend this. So that there's not an obvious line between the two colors. here. And I'm going to add some of that tan here. Now if this darker color is still wet, it's going to bleed a little bit, so for now I'm trying to avoid it. And then I'm drying my brush off. I'm just running it along the edge. I 
Okay, so while that's drying, we're going to go back here, and there's some fur along the neck, so that's what we're going to be working on. So I'm going to use this light color here with a little bit of water mixed in and just running it along the edge. This is going to get covered up with darker colors later on. This is just so that when we do the darker colors later, we don't have a bunch of white space. Okay. While that's drying, we're going to come here and work on this darker part of the mouth. So we need our detail brush again. I'm going to use this dark brown. And I'm going to run it along the edge of the lip. And then I'm going to rinse my brush off and just paint with water. That's not quite dry yet. So I'm going to pause it here and wait a couple of minutes and then we're going to finish the head. Okay, so this is all dry. So we're going to start working on the fur here and then we're going to come up here, remove the masking fluid and start working on the eyes and some of these spots. So, first thing I'm going to do is get some dark brown paint, which is this shade here, and use my detail brush to start painting lines. You want to leave some space in between the lines because I'm going to come back with black paint. You'll notice I'm doing the fur in different directions instead of just doing stripes. Black. And some of this is blending with the brown paint, but that's okay.
Okay. I'm going to grab my eraser and I'm going to remove that. And then you can see it just peels off. And there's space there for me to do the eye. use my detail brush and I'm going to start working on some of the spots and the nostrils here. So for the spots I'm using the same color we did earlier which is the mix of the dark brown and the pinkish brown. But these spots are smaller so I'm using this brush. take some dark gray and we're gonna do this detail here and the nostrils. too far down there. And then for the black, Now we're going to start working on the eyes. So you'll notice here the eyes are not completely black. We've left some white space there. So I'm not going to fill in the eye entirely. I'm going to leave it so there's a little bit of a paper showing through so it looks like there's a glare. So first thing I'm going to do is outline it and start filling it in but leaving some space and same thing over here take the black and then do some eyelashes. Line above the eye. 
using this light tan color. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom here. And I'm going to take some dark gray, fill in the eyebrows. And what looks like an eyebrow. at the picture to see if there's anything else to add. It looks a bit darker here, so I'm going to add some darker brown. I'm going to use the same color we were using for the spots. And just add some darker paint there, and then blend out the edges with water. A little bit more. I'm also going to add some brown paint right here. blending with my dry brush. Right. I see some lines here, so I'm going to add those. I'm using dark brown. here it's a bit darker so we're going to add some darker paint there so I'm going to go back to my number six brush and I'm going to mix some kind of golden brown using these two shades here and a little bit of dark brown Just adding some dark paint here. Like that. Then I'm going to rinse my brush off and just use water. some water up here too. Now 
I'm just dragging the paint down. And I can see that it's a little bit darker on this side as well, so I'm going to add some paint there. And then use water. To soften that. Now I've just got clean water and I'm blending it all together. And I'm avoiding anything that I painted within the last few minutes. So these spots here and these lines. And I'm gonna drag the water down. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is darken this up here. I'll grab some reddish brown. This is still wet because I had just blended this part out here. So I'm adding some brown. Pull it down this way too. And add a little more black. 